Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. So, today we have news from Trimble SketchUp. And this news is about SketchUp joining the subscription wagon. I have no idea what to think about this or what to make of this, but for the most part, I really didn't see SketchUp doing this. Although they've already talked about them going subscription sometime in February, which we're going to look at. But right now, they're announcing that they are making a huge change to the purchasing method, the way you get to get your own SketchUp right now. From the blog, they say, same SketchUp you love and a new way to buy. And I think this isn't like the, the right plan for them. I feel like, you know, SketchUp as a tool should still remain perpetual and everybody that wants to renew based off the licenses and maybe maintain these things should be able to do this. I don't really see SketchUp in the light for them to actually, you know, incorporate the whole subscription plan. Because for the most part, we've actually seen it in a whole lot of places that, you know, taking several products and several companies as example, whenever they go subscription, it turns that the update becomes very stale or maybe late or for some reason is not really up to the hype that they might put on social media and today we are seeing that sketchup and the guys from trimble might be taking that part okay they've actually gonna have to say that if you have the perpetual or the classical license you can use it perpetually you can use it at any point you can use it for anything that you want but then if you would like to update this, then you might want to update it from now till November the 4th of 2020. And this is like the last time that you would be able to maintain or even update or purchase a perpetual license. So if you want to own SketchUp right now, I think this is like the best time for you to go and get it. Now, moving on to several things that you may want to know about. There are certain stuff that might happen or changes that would occur within, you know, throughout the year and throughout the transition. There's gonna be a classical license and for those who would want the SketchUp Pro subscription, there are certain things that you might be able to get. If you're using the classic license, first things first, you'll be able to have, presently you already know that, you have, you know, like the Trimble Connect personal cloud space that is 10 gig of file, but if you're using the subscription, you have an unlimited space. Very, very, you know, very spicy. Next up is for the viewer. Now the viewer, they are promising that with this subscription, there is a couple of benefits that will be coming to both SketchUp Web, there will be a couple of benefits coming to Connect and also to the SketchUp viewer. And that is what you can see here, that for the viewer, when you're using the basic one, you are able to do the mobile app, iOS and also Android. But then if you're using subscription, you will be able to do that on both HTC Vive, on the Oculus and also on the HoloLens. So if you want to own it perpetually, you might be able to own this for about $695. Now for personal use, you can use the SketchUp Free, which is the, you know, the SketchUp Web. I'm going to talk about that just in case you have no idea. And right here, you would also notice that there's a SketchUp Shop and there's actually a discount going on right now. And if you want to own this, you want to use this discount to jump on the wagon for the subscription you can actually get that one happening now for the pro this is how much it is it is actually 250 dollars per year if you want to get this as a personal you know license for the professional the price varies the same thing goes for higher education there is actually a discount for you guys and if you're maybe a primary or a secondary school you want to use this for school there is also certain discounts for you and actually the time where they started talking about this was sometime in february like i said it earlier so sometime in february when the release of sketchup was here that there was an update to that as well there were certain things that they were talking about then and i think a lot of people didn't really take them that serious because i felt for some reason that maybe they might not go through that route but now you can see that we have them you know promising all of this beautiful stuff enticing everyone to get here and you know i just hope sketchup actually i just hope sketchup or the guys from trimble live up to what they you know what they are actually saying that they will provide so if you're also thinking about using sketchup for free probably you haven't used this before maybe you're trying to get into sketchup and you're wondering how do i get my hands on it how do i practice with this tool even before i proceed to purchasing this now there are some very interesting stuff for you you can actually use sketchup for web so we've talked about sketchup for web before i'm just going to go ahead and jump right here yeah so we've already talked about sketchup for web before and it is extremely the same thing that you have while working with your basic sketchup the only difference is there is a pro version for sketchup for web and then there is the normal free version which is what we're looking at right now i'm going to put a link in the description in case you want to try this and with this you can do some very basic sketchup stuff so from here right now 
you can proceed to simply, you know, let's create this particular stuff. And if you press P on the keyboard, you'll be able to push this all the way up. The same thing happens if you press things like F, you can choose to, you know, fillet this a bit. I think that's what it's called, offset. Yeah, something like that. And then you can press P on the keyboard to bring this down. You can also choose to press R on the keyboard to bring out, you know, the same uh, stuff that we were just using and whenever you hold down shift you can constrain the stuff in case you want and this is like you know very basic sketchup stuff you can also choose to reverse the face if reversing face is also what you want to do press p let's raise this all the way up and then you can proceed to you know move things around if you press m on the keyboard you can do all of that stuff every single thing that you might want to do basically with sketchup without the plugins and without the premium and pro features you will be able to do them you have all of your sidebars right here and whenever you're done you can simply come from here and simply export this to whatever tool of choice right now there is no talk about you know warehouse if warehouse is going to be subscription based nobody knows there is no limitation to warehouse so this is you know this is basically about it I saw this and I felt, you know, I can bring it to the attention of a whole lot of you guys because I know in the community I have a set of persons that are dedicated to just architecture. I know some persons that are just working between motion and we've also done a couple of SketchUp stuff back and forth. And probably if you want to own this before the discount runs out, which is going to run out by June the 5th, then you might want to take a chance and grab this before, you know, it, it is off. And if you want to try SketchUp, you can also go ahead and try this. And yeah, that is basically about it. I would like to know what you guys think about this in the comment section. Do you think SketchUp is going through the route of Adobe, uh, Maxon Cinema 4D, which is actually a software I really love so much, but I don't like the idea that they're going through subscription or maybe if they're taking the route of Autodesk. Tell me what you guys think about this in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, then of course you can go ahead and give it a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And if you're new here, it's going to be amazing for you to hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification so that you don't miss the next video or the next update. And until I see you guys again with a tutorial update, free Friday, tutorial Tuesday, tips and tricks, things like this. Peace.